Hi, I'm Carol Angrisani. Buying groceries that have been sourced with the planet in mind doesn't have to be expensive. I'll tell you about some of the new sustainable products that retailers have introduced under their own store brands. Plus, want to make your next sandwich more nutritious? You'll need to do a bit of label reading to find a loaf of bread that's right for you. In today's edition of How to Shop Smarter, I'll discuss the packaged bread aisle. We'll be right back. One of the most famous sculptures in the world is The Thinker. For ages, people have wondered exactly what he was thinking about. Some say he's thinking about the meaning of life. Others say he's contemplating the billions of stars and planets in the universe. But we know better. The Thinker is pondering how to save money at the supermarket. The answer, of course, is quite simple. The answer is store brands. Those great products that retailers offer with their own brand on it. Just as good as more expensive national brands, but better prices. Now that's not so complicated. Store brands, the thinker knows. Welcome back. Whether it's the chocolate you eat or the toothbrush you use, there are many new sustainable options on store shelves. Here are some of them. One trend is eco-friendly dental care products. Now here's a toothbrush set from CVS. The handle is made from biodegradable bamboo. And this is part of a new line of healthcare products from CVS that are sold under the Live Better store brand. And not only is this toothbrush made from bamboo, it's made from moso bamboo. Now moso is a bamboo species that pandas typically don't eat. So this brush is not only better for the environment, it also doesn't hurt the panda's food supply. These dental flossers are also part of the new line. Now these are eco-friendly because the handle is made with cornstarch, which is biodegradable. As far as function, both the toothbrush and these flossers were developed by dentists so they can get the job done. As for other new products in stores, you'll start to see more sustainable certifications on the packaging of the food you buy. And these certifications can help you decide right in the store if a product is right for you. Take these ice cream bars from discount chain Lidl. They're part of a limited timeline of ice cream sold under the Gelatelli store brand. And it carries the UTS certification right on the package. And that logo means that the cocoa used in these ice cream bars was farmed sustainably. Another logo you'll see is the blue MSC certification. You'll see this on the labels of canned tuna and other seafood products. Now this logo means that the tuna is certified sustainable by the Marine Stewardship Council. So we all know about dolphin safe tuna. Well, this MSC certification takes it further. MSC is given to seafood products that are fished with minimal impact to the marine environment and also from stocks with healthy populations, among other criteria. Walmart's Great Value Tuna just received the certification. So at a time when sustainable living is top of mind, Walmart, CVS, and Lidl are among the retailers that are responding with exclusive products like these. When we come back, I'll show you how to shop smarter for bread. Washington, Jefferson, Adams. You can read the founders' names in the history books, but one name that you may not find is Selwyn Douglas, spelled with two O's. While the others may be the fathers of this country, Douglas was the father of store brands. There, in his small shop in Concord, Massachusetts, he sold food and beverages, household necessities, and health remedies. You could buy directly from the big barrels inside his store or choose the things you needed from his shelves. They all came with his store's guarantee of quality. They were priced fairly, too. And when he wrapped up your items, he signed his name right on the packing paper so you would always know where you bought things. That was the beginning of retailer store brands, and it hasn't changed in over 200 years. Store brands. Thank you, Selwyn Douglas. Welcome back. The bread aisle has plenty of brands that are packed with fiber, protein, and other nutrients. But the many different labels can be confusing, so how do you know which one is right for you? In this edition of How to Shop Smarter, I'll explain how to decipher the labels of packaged bread. First, most packaged breads are made with enriched wheat flour. They're popular and tasty, but the wheat kernel's nutritious bran and germ have been removed. So if you're looking for more nutrients, whole grain bread is the way to go. Whole grains, like whole wheat, have the entire wheat kernel intact, which means they have more vitamins and antioxidants. Whole grains are also naturally low in fat and cholesterol free. Plus, they contain protein and healthy fiber and more. To check how nutritious a bread is, you need to turn the package over and read the ingredient list. 
the most nutritious bread will have the word whole listed as the first ingredient. So look for the words 100% whole wheat flour or 100% whole grain. Have you tried sprouted breads? They contain whole grains that have been germinated or sprouted. This helps boost the nutrients in the grains, making them more digestible. These are often carried in the frozen or refrigerated sections of the supermarket. You should also be cautious of terms like wheat or cracked wheat on the front label, because those words may mean that the bread contains wheat flour, but not necessarily whole wheat flour. Multigrain can also be misleading because it simply means that multiple grains like rice, corn, and barley are included with the wheat, but none of those may be whole grains. What about the word stone ground? This refers only to the flour milling process, meaning a grain has been passed through a stone mill. Finally, you should know that bread may have more sodium than you think. When you read the ingredient label, the sodium level may seem okay, but this can be deceiving because many brands count just one slice as a serving. Since most people eat two slices, the sodium count will be double. So for those of you who need to restrict sodium intake, there are breads like this one, which has no salt added. As for how to store packaged bread, a bread drawer or a box is the best solution. Otherwise, it can be kept on the counter for about a week. If you're storing it longer than that, your best option is to freeze it. Bread can be kept fresh for about three months when frozen. Thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe to our Store Brands USA YouTube channel. See you next time.